Hey, New Hope, Pastor Brian here. I hope your week is off to a really good start. I wanted to challenge us real quick today and encourage us from God's word. First Thessalonians chapter five, starting in verse 16, says this, be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Um, so the challenge for all of us this week is to make three choices. The first choice is this, to be joyful this week. Biblical joy and the joy that the Bible talks about goes beyond circumstances. It's much greater and much deeper than happiness. If you think about happiness, what makes you happy? When your team wins the game, when you get your favorite food prepared for you or that coffee that you've been wanting to go get, you finally get it. The present that you've been hoping for, the job promotion, the new car, the, the house sale went through and you got the house of your dreams, whatever it may be. All good things and all okay things, but those are depending on circumstances and those things make us happy. But if you think about joy, it goes way deeper than that. Uh, joy is not dependent on circumstances. Joy is dependent upon Jesus Christ. And he is the source of our strength. He is the source of of the joy that we can have in the midst of severe trials, in the midst of circumstances that are difficult, of storms of life, especially of what we're going through right now. Jesus is constant and he's there and he's the source of our joy. So I encourage you to um, strengthen your relationship with Jesus by spending time with him and through that you're gonna find joy. So be joyful this week. The second choice to make is to be prayerful. Of all people who can challenge us to be prayerful, Paul is the one. He went through a lot of difficult situations in life and he's encouraging us to pray continually. The thought here is this, is to have this ongoing conversation with the Lord throughout your day. Continually lifting up your heart to him no matter what is going on, no matter what time frame of the day is, is happening. Um, that's what he's talking about. In the, some very difficult seasons of my life, I have found it very hard to utter words to pray. Like my heart knew what I was communicating to God, but, but verbally those words were out there. And I wanna encourage you to, even if you're going through a season like that where it's really hard to utter words, but your heart is, is crying out to God, the Holy Spirit helps. And, and Jesus um, knows what's going on and he sees your heart and he hears your prayer. But the Bible says to be prayerful and, and to pray continually. I do want you to notice that the Bible doesn't say to pray when it's easy. It says to pray continually, no matter what we're going through, especially in the season of life, be prayerful and pray continually. The final choice I challenge you to make this week is to be thankful. We, we are to thank God in our circumstances, not for our circumstances. Paul was uh, put in jail. Uh, he had been shipwrecked. He knew what it was like to be hungry. He knew what it was like to be stranded and to be alone. And Paul of all people says to be joyful. I feel like if Paul were here today, he would say whether you're eating at the restaurant of your choice or you're scrubbing a toilet, to be joyful. Whether you get that pink slip, you've lost your job, um, or you get the promotion that you wanted, to give thanks. Whether you're strong and healthy or you're weak and you're sick, give thanks. So how do we know if we're thankful? Well, this week, think about this question. Do you talk more about your blessings or your disappointments? Do you talk more about your blessings or your disappointments? That's one way to gauge the thankfulness of your hearts. So be joyful, be prayerful, and be thankful. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you are with us in all circumstances. And this week, we make these choices to follow after you. God, would you encourage your people, bless your people, heal them, strengthen them, provide in every way that's needed. Our hope and our trust is in you. In your mighty name we pray, amen. New Hope, have a great week.